where it has to find the Laplace transform of the given function involving the unit step function or heavy side function. To find the Laplace transform, we'll be using the shifting property below, which states the Laplace transform of f of the quantity t minus a times u of the quantity t minus a equals e to the power of negative a s times the Laplace transform of f of t. Analyzing the given function because of the u of the quantity t minus three, we know a is equal to three. However, the function e to the t is not written in the form of f of the quantity t minus three, so we can easily determine f of t. We do know f of the quantity t minus three must equal e to the t, but to determine f of t, we'll perform a change of variables. So we begin with f of the quantity t minus three equals e to the t, and now we introduce a new variable, we'll call it tau. Tau is equal to t minus three, and therefore t equals tau plus three. For the next step, we determine the function f of tau. To do this, we replace t with tau plus three in f of the quantity t minus three, which gives us f of tau equals e to the power of tau plus three. Using exponent properties, we can write this as the constant e cubed times e to the tau. This is the function we need for the right side of our equation because if f of tau is equal to e cubed times e to the tau, notice f of the quantity tau minus three, which we find by replacing tau with tau minus three in f of tau, we get e to the tau, which is the same function of f of the quantity t minus three or e to the t, just with a different variable. This indicates the Laplace transform big F of s is equal to e to the power of negative a s times the Laplace transform of f of tau. We know a is three and f of tau is e cubed times e to the tau, which indicates the Laplace transform is e to the power of negative three s times the Laplace transform of e cubed times e to the tau. e cubed is a constant and the Laplace transform of e to the tau using the last entry in the first column of the table where a is equal to negative one, we have one divided by the quantity s minus one. This indicates the Laplace transform is e to the power of negative three s times e cubed times one over the quantity s minus one, which we can also write as e to the power of negative three s plus three all over the quantity s minus one. Over the factor of the exponent, we have e to the power of negative three times the quantity s minus one all divided by s minus one. I hope you found this helpful.